Good morning, happy Monday. Going back to work today, I'm so happy. Oh gosh, having a week off was so blissful. Like not having to think about my job, not having to wake up and do my job. That was perfect. I'm trying not to like be depressed about this, but yeah. Right now I'm getting ready to make a smoothie, but I'm washing my strawberries first since I forgot to do that over the weekend. And then I will make my smoothie and oh, I'm so not in the mood to work. Like I'm so down in the spirits. My brother is randomly in town today, so I'm going to dinner with him tonight at this place called Medusa. Curious to see what that's like. On to my work day. done with work for today so now i'm just getting ready to meet up with my brother at dinner i'm wearing a really simple outfit just like this t-shirt and some baggy jeans it's literally just my brother so far the week is off to a pretty chill start so far so good but again i don't want to jinx anything so let me keep my mouth shut i was supposed to hear back from the job interview i had last week i was supposed to hear back from them today i think she said i haven't gotten any emails yet if i don't hear anything by wednesday i'm gonna follow up you know since it's a long week and just in case i don't know whatever but i will follow up if i don't hear anything by wednesday and if it's still nothing then i just give up on that job and at this point i think i'm just over getting excited about new jobs maybe me getting excited is really jinxing my chances i don't even know anymore me getting excited about anything seems to be the big jinx so let me just stop it's funny because during my day over the last weekend the guy i could tell he was just like really unnerved by the fact that i'm not i'm not a very expressive person i'm just not like an overly excited high energy person his persona is like ivy league ceo founder so he's very much on that like overwhelmingly optimistic outlook mindset wave like almost toxic positivity god forbid you say anything bad about yourself or life in passing it could be the smallest statement like new york city sucks today he'd be like no you have to see it as an endless place of opportunity that's the kind of personality he is he wanted me to be a bit more high energy and like extroverted with him easily impressed because he made a comment like oh you don't seem like you're very easily impressed and it's just like well nobody should be easily impressed but like at the point that he had said that he literally hadn't done anything to impress me so i was confused throughout the entire day what was i supposed to be impressed by that was just never clear to me so i think like he wants somebody who's more excited by him and i was just i was literally getting to know him i hadn't even formed an opinion on him yet he formed several opinions on me back to me saying like he projects a lot on me he hasn't even encountered enough information about me to say that he even knows me as a person and i feel like more people should should consider that when they're meeting new people forming opinions all that stuff you do not know somebody from one hangout period maybe i should have talked more about this during my weekend vlog but this is just how my mind processes information and stuff like i wasn't really thinking this deeply about the day in the moment when me and my friends linked up with him at the club he was trying to do pda and stuff and i'm like look we don't even we haven't even gone on a proper first date yet sir like chill the fuck out literally you don't know me anything could be wrong with me you're trying to kiss on me all that stuff i could have herpes you don't know that like relax you know get to know people at a natural pace and that's why i was saying it was giving love bombing i was low-key right actually not low-key i was fully right he was love bombing me and i didn't give him what he wanted so he threw a little tantrum on our date i'm considering the way he was behaving on the date as a tantrum he threw a little tantrum on our date and that is the end of that but yeah men like that are very annoying and this might be a controversial take but i'm beginning to consider guys who are that outwardly charismatic to be red flags because like low-key i keep saying low-key for things that i think are true but 
the reality is charisma sometimes is a mask unless it's like a natural part of their personality that you've observed over time over like a nice prolonged period of time then oftentimes the charismatic person is pretending and so when you meet guys like off of dating apps and such they will always put their best foot forward of course like they will always give you like the the most attractive package up front and then as you get to know them and you begin to peel back their layers you realize like oh this charismatic guy is actually a shady person that was all i was thinking about throughout the weekend but i was like okay let me not jinx it he might not even be that way let me give him a chance da -da -da -da. you know i was doing all the right things like regarding trying to get my mind aligned with like getting to know him he wasn't doing that for me though like he was really trying to fast track our entire relationship literally at the park this wasn't even a date remember i clarified with him this is not a date at the park why are you asking me what is your earliest trauma are you okay why would i ever tell you that are you dumb why would i ever be like you know what i have been dying to unload this to a stranger that i've never met in my entire life my earliest trauma was when i was five years old and da -da 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 happened to me and like what do i look like engaging in that conversation earnestly we don't know each other you're not my therapist what the fuck For all of his whole like you're so stoic oh he called me stoic for his whole like you're so stoic i wish you had been nicer to me i really was at my peak nicest like if i was being a true bitch to my nature i would never have even agreed to the park date and this is why they say you give somebody an inch they take a mile i thought i was being benevolent with the park and instead i <sighs> Child. just never accept scraps never go below your standards for anything because it will never be worth it agreeing to that initial park hangout was below my dating standards and i regret entertaining this man in general at all me and my friends you could say that at least we got to go to the club with them but truthfully we didn't need them to go to the club we walked right up to little sister we didn't even like get in line we walked right to the door the bouncer saw us they waved us through like please come and they immediately stamped us they didn't say who are you with what table are you joining we didn't even mention that we had friends inside they were just like oh my god pretty girl let's go next day when we had our official date at the dinner date he was asking like oh any complications like getting into the door and stuff and i was like no we just walked in in that moment i swear to god i saw his face change for a quick second almost as if he was jealous that we didn't have any problems at the door i don't know how to explain it but it felt like he was hoping that we had struggled or something and the fact that we didn't it just made him a bit envious or resentful i don't know i don't know but anyway i dodged that bullet but i am a little bit upset with myself because during the weekend while i was entertaining this guy i was neglecting this other guy that i've been talking to i don't i don't know what to call him we met on hinge um three ish years ago and then he texted me and was like i'm moving to chicago and i was like that really sucks that you would pursue me knowing that you were moving but whatever have a nice life go to chicago now he's coming back to new york and we are rekindling things and instead of focusing my energy on just like strengthening my relationship with him i was entertaining this bozo clown over the weekend and now i don't think he's giving me the silent treatment but he definitely has reduced his texting cadence with me but i also know that today has been a really busy day on wall street so i'm hoping that that's the reason that he's like a little unavailable and not that he's giving me a taste of my own medicine so fingers crossed men across the board right now are just really trying it with me but i will persevere i will prevail i will come out as the victor on top of all of this what a weekend what a freaking weekend i think another turning point in my date yesterday that i'm like picking apart moments where i'm realizing like oh okay this is probably when he decided to be a dickhead to me um there was one point i said something and i laughed and he was like oh my god such a beautiful smile you should smile more like smile for me like he was like commanding me to smile for him i love compliments don't get me wrong but something about how he was complimenting me it just felt like he was saying dance monkey dance and i was just like okay enough like 
you could have just left it at what a beautiful smile leave it alone move on but he just like kept on saying it repeating it and he was just like staring at me and expecting me to smile for him it was like he wanted me to just like increase my smile for him because he was saying it and it's just like you're making me uncomfortable shut up so i didn't smile because i'm not a, a fucking monkey to command my smile faltered and it dropped and i continued eating and that was the end of that date segment but i'm definitely deleting hinge i don't even want to in fact i need to delete it right now when i'm finished with my makeup i don't plan on using hinge as a tool for my summer i don't think i need it i've been doing a pretty good job meeting guys out in public without the app and i'm just not really feeling it also i think i've hit my hinge app limit you can only delete it and re-download it so many times before the app bans you like they actually do ban people for that because they can always recognize your phone's unique like information your phone's unique metadata whatever it is that they use to track users like your phone number and stuff like that you know it's all tied to an account even if you make a new account each time and it refreshes your and it doesn't load your data they still have in the system that this specific phone number from this specific specific iPhone or whatever phone you have or from this like specific iCloud account has downloaded this app x y and z times so I think I'm approaching that it's, it's like four or five and I don't even know but who knows maybe once I delete my account I might never have a chance to go back on hinge and it would be for the best so yeah we'll see um I need to do a lip something super chill and casual because this is my brother honestly i might even just do chapstick and call it a night i'm not really wearing blush tonight i don't really feel like wearing blush low-key i could have gone without wearing makeup since like i said it's literally just my brother no 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 we're going to like a, a cool upscale place i kind of feel bad that i'm even wearing jeans a little bit but i'm not gonna wear heels to see my brother i'm sorry you have to draw the line somewhere you know you have to like have standards for yourself <laughs> But I am happy he's taking me here because I've been trying to go here for a minute. Um, it's Oh, we're going to this restaurant called Medusa. All right, it is 7.53. I actually am making really good time. Um, I want to leave my apartment. Let's see, how far away is this place from me? 45 minutes. So let's see, I can probably leave my apartment. Let me double check my text messages again. Because my brother sent me this text and... <laughs> I was half asleep when I read it. 9 p.m., okay. I can leave here 8.13. I think that's a good time to go. TTYL. to the office <sighs> sayonara see you later today i think me and rue have a tech week event that we want to attend let me just double check my email but yeah if not i will just come home yeah tonight at six well let's see all right toodles <laughs> black people in tech panel and they were talking about mental health and burnout and also the beginning stages of 
starting a startup yeah i don't think i learned much from the panel but it was good to like just go out and be around people who are also founders oh i networked and i connected with another nigerian startup founder too and his app is gonna launch in a couple of weeks it's a really cool idea it's like group therapy telehealth that's cool and beyond that uh i don't know there's some events tomorrow and on thursday i think friday too no, no no i didn't do friday but there's an event tomorrow that i'm gonna try and go to and we'll see um but yeah right now i'm i'm so tired i probably look cross-eyed i'm so tired i'm gonna go to bed i'm exhausted tonight was really fun <sighs> i'm so exhausted <laughs> Hello and good morning. What do we have in store on this beautiful Wednesday? Obviously, I have to work. I was gonna go into the office today, but I think because I was out so late last night, I came home and I was like, yeah, we are working from home tomorrow. Staying home today, and then there's another Tech Week event later tonight that I might go to. But I also need to edit a vlog, so we'll see. I'm gonna make up my mind. Mm, I might stay home and just edit my vlog. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, that's on the agenda for today. <sighs> Shut the hell up. That's on the agenda for today. Right now, I'm about to watch... I'm about to watch The Valley, I think. It's currently 8.51. I have about an hour before I have to log into work. So like, I'm really just chilling. Like, I'm not really... Nothing is stressing me out. I feel like there's something I should be doing, but honestly, I'm, I don't, I don't care. Whatever it is, it will work itself out. I low-key was chilling a little too hard, and now I have too many things on my plate to do. My dumbass asked for more work. <laughs> but, um, the most random thing though, somebody uploaded the full movie for challengers on Twitter. I'm about to cast it onto my TV and rewatch it. Love that for me. You know what I wanna watch? I really wanna watch Past Lives. I don't have Paramount though. I need to date a guy that has a Paramount Plus account. <laughs> that is the only way that I see myself watching Past Lives. Damn, I can't cast it from my computer. This is the worst. Literally the whole movie, the whole movie. You guys probably can't see shit. Ugh, I want to rewatch it so bad. I'm irritated. I hate when things don't go my way. Or no, I hate when I get my hopes up and things don't go my way. Um, okay, maybe... I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, you know what? I need to focus on work. This is a sign that I should stop fucking around and I need to focus on work. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, back to work I go, I guess. My camera is also dying, so I need to charge this. Howdy. I'm taking a break from editing my vlog. Oh wait, I can't remember what I said before, but the workday is over and right now I'm just editing a vlog. There was supposed to be this woman founders tech week panel tonight, but this morning I woke up to an email saying that I was put on the wait list. So I just won't go. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste my time commuting into the city to just not get into an event. So it didn't really make sense. And I had to edit this vlog anyway. Right now I'm about to make dinner, but I feel like I kind of want to go to the Jamaican store up the street and buy some oxtail. Just, you know, treat myself a little bit. Or maybe jerk chicken again. I'll make up my mind once I get there. But for now, I just want to go out there and get my meal. I'll make some rice. In fact, let me put the rice on the stove and I'll have that cooking while I go get my chicken. That's a good idea to me. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I didn't get oxtail, but I did do something a little bit differently today. I got fried chicken. Bro, I went in there and I said, can I get a small container of oxtail? And they were like, we don't do small containers anymore. And if you want oxtail, it'll be $35. And I was like, you know what? This is just not for me. So I got fried chicken. It actually looks really good. I got fried chicken just to try it and see if I like it. And I got jerk chicken. Ooh, this is nice and juicy. I got jerk chicken as a backup just in case the fried chicken doesn't hit. Because I always see the fried chicken sitting in there, but it's always full. I love to say always. I think my rice is done cooking. So I'm going to plate my food. Um, oh God, I'm still editing this vlog. It's taking longer than I wanted it to. I'm having a boring day. I'm sorry. I'm literally going to edit my vlog and watch a movie and get ready for 
work tomorrow. I'm still deciding if I want to go into the office. Honestly, I might not. I don't think I want to. Yeah, I might just stay home. I don't know. The only reason I would go in there is to eat, but I'm okay. I'm not that desperate for food. <laughs> My plate looks really messy, but everything tastes so good. All right, I'm just eating cereal for breakfast. I'm in a lazy mood. We're pretty lazy these days. Oh my god, have we spoken this morning? No, we haven't. Good morning. Happy Thursday. It's Thursday, right? Yeah, today's Thursday. Okay, I'm just confused. They're giving me a confusing thing to do at work. It doesn't really make sense. But, um, what was I saying again? This week has just been so blurry to me. I don't know. I keep seeing so many tweets saying I might be single, but this time next year I'm going to be engaged. And honestly felt that same yeah i'm ready to get married i keep telling all my friends i'm like i'm ready to get married it's time for me to get married <laughs> i honestly feel like every single problem that i have or at least 90 percent of my problems would be solved by getting married i don't know that's just what it feels like <laughs> Like, you know those um TikToks and tweets where it's like, a man is not coming to save you, you have to save yourself. And I get it, I really do. And I have been actively working towards saving myself. But at the same time, I actually do need a man to come save me so I can save myself. We live in a patriarchy. Unfortunately, that's how the world is structured. There's really no way around it. I need... I need to get saved and very quickly. Like my app idea, honestly, I need to marry an investor or something. <laughs> Obviously there's gonna be love involved in all of this. I'm not marrying anyone who I'm not in love with, but yeah, it's time. It's time to fall in love. It's time to get married. It's time to build with somebody else beside me. <laughs> this all sounds so corny, but like, shit fuck it that's what life is coming to i guess like my manager on the agency side the one that encouraged me to take this account with the pay cut she was like i took a pay cut to stay here and now i'm making more money and da -da -da -da, and i have like more responsibility and i'm close to the leadership and i was like okay sure but she could afford to take a pay cut because she was married i know she was engaged at the time living with her fiance now they're married but either way she's always been in a two-income household babe of course you can take a pay cut like i doubt you were even paying bills to begin with that's what i need i need a man to save me and make my life easier and then life will be like blissful and perfect from then on i'm manifesting that too i'm doing some stuff for work but I'm thinking about the job interview I had last week. The recruiter said that she would reach out to me with a response or an update by Monday. It is now Thursday. And I said I was going to reach out yesterday and follow up, but I keep postponing it because I'm kind of scared of like getting that confirmation. But honestly, I need to know. I need to know. So I might, I might just do it now. Like I might send her an email. But I just feel like by not telling me, I just... To me, that's the confirmation. I feel like if it wasn't enthusiastic, yes, I would have gotten my email Monday morning even. <sighs> it's just nerve wracking. That's really just it. It was a really good interview, but if she doesn't feel like she can sell me to the department, like if she can't sell my skills and my experience, then I don't know. This is like, I don't know. Let me draft my email to her now actually. And just get it over with and bite the bullet and say fuck it. It feels so pathetic sending this follow-up email oh interesting google is pushing out this like ai gemini advanced what is this try at no cost get gemini advanced and more with a google one ai premium plan so zero dollars for two months and then twenty dollars beyond that what is this get access to one million token context window what does that mean access new and exclusive features two terabytes of storage gemini in gmail docs and more what is gemini what is gemini advanced let's google this what is gemini <laughs> That means you can analyze, explore, and understand documents of up to 1,500 pages. Upload files to Gemini to get answers, summaries, and insights about your content. What is it? What, I don't understand though. Like, how is it helping me send emails? Okay, so basically Gemini Advanced is a direct competitor for ChatGPT. Okay. <laughs> 
I don't know. Like, should I try it for two months and see if I like it and then cancel? I just don't know how it's going to help me with my emails, but... It's like a Google subscription service overall. Yeah, let's just try it. Two months, so June, August. Okay, I'm gonna try it, but like not on my work computer. I'm gonna switch over to my personal laptop in a second. Um, all right, back to sending this email. Um, okay, I hope you are having a great week. So far, I wanted to follow up about. Okay, I sent the email. Fingers crossed. I feel like she's gonna respond and be like, I'm so sorry to tell you this, but. And you know what? If that's the case, then like, I truly. Everything is out of my hands. I give the fuck up. Like, I'm just gonna coast through life and let life happen to me how it's meant to happen. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just. I'm tired. I'm so tired. I'm taking a quick break from work. And I'm gonna make lunch. So I'm gonna eat my jerk chicken and my leftover rice. You know, I feel like I never really eat lunch anymore these days. I'm always just so locked in on whatever I'm doing. And it's hard to tear focus away. This is really the only time that I have to eat lunch today since I'm going to a gala tonight. They did say that there's gonna be food, but just in case, because sometimes the food at these galas be bullshit. But I think this is a good time, like it's 3 o'clock, the gala's at 7, so the time between now and then, like whenever they decide to serve us, I think I'll be okay. So I'm just gonna plate my food, warm it up in the microwave. Should I eat all of this jerk chicken? I will. I think I will. If you guys see my plate, then I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so big. <laughs> but look, it's just the rice and the chicken, so... I think because the chicken is bigger pieces, it looks like a lot of food, but it's really like, it's cut up into pieces, okay? This is one big piece of chicken, just cut up. Hello, hello. I'm about to start getting ready for this gala that I'm attending tonight. It's 5.30, it starts at 7. They're like, I'm sure there's wiggle room to be late. I'm probably gonna get there around 7.38ish, which like, it's fine, I think. Um, still doing stuff for work, though, I don't know. Everything is super disorganized right now. And all I know is if they don't catch me by six o'clock, I'm going offline. That will be the end of all of that. So yeah, I'ma just keep checking Slack for updates because I'm supposed to fix something, but again, it's not up to me. It's up to the person who is submitting the replacements. In the meantime though, I'ma get ready for my night. I'm excited, even though like it was raining like crazy earlier. Oh my God, I wanna do a get ready with me for TikTok, I just remembered. Oh, oh fuck, I need to charge my phone. Oh my God, too much is going on right now. Can we like, two seconds to reorient my mind.
so many beautiful people here. Burr, 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 Funkmaster, Black Knight, Funkmaster. You should have let me get this microphone when I'm drinking. Sorry. Thank you everybody for coming. Come look at the items up for auction. Woo! Um, right now I'm about to watch Summer House. Plans for today, plans for today. Oh, I have a movie premiere tonight. Um, this girl I went to college with, she made, I think it's a short film, and I donated to it a couple months ago, so she invited me to the premiere, and it's tonight, so that should be fun. And beyond that, I have nothing else going on. <laughs> Um, a friend invited me to come by his apartment today because it's gonna be hot. So I like to just hang out on the roof and like co-work, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually do that. We'll see if I get bored enough to actually consider it. But um, yeah, right now I'm gonna go watch Summer House though. I wanna watch the reunion. Checking in, um, it's about two o'clock right now. I'm making lunch really quickly. I'm just making pasta and I have some leftover on Kobe that I'm gonna eat with it or on the side of my pasta and yeah. Having a really slow day. Oh my gosh. I need to figure out a way to optimize my Fridays because we technically have summer Fridays, but because I, on my plate, have so much fucking work to do always. And it's like a lot of last minute things that come in, but I feel like there's still a way for me to just like figure some things out and still enjoy my Friday. Like go out, enjoy the day, take a proper summer Friday. Because we technically have it every Friday, I just can't take it because I'm working. That's not really fair for me. But um, yeah, I need to figure something out. I don't know. I don't know what it needs to be, but I cannot spend my entire summer uh fucking sirens i cannot spend my entire summer trapped in my apartment on beautiful friday afternoons that just feels criminal um oh my pasta is kind of burning um i just finished working Ooh. i have to go to this film premiere it's supposed to start at six but it's already 4 41 which means that i need to be leaving and heading over there by like 5 20. i don't know if this is realistic but i'm gonna try oh my god i don't even know what i'm gonna wear fuck where is this stupid ticket and stuff um okay i need to leave here at like 5 30. <laughs> tonight but you know what like i don't really care <laughs> um i don't have time to show you guys my full outfit i'm sorry or maybe i can try and squeeze it in all right let me try and squeeze something really quickly in i'm wearing this dress and my heels are by the door because i don't want to wear shoes in the house i just mopped my floors today so yeah i'm wearing this dress with my pvc heels since i think those are the only shoes that i have that go with this outfit so like yeah and my saddlebag. Alright, I need to run. Bye!
What do you have to say? Okay, gang, we're out here. This is Syndicated Bar and Theater. Shout out to Lee from the 303. Okay. What's your, what's your YouTube channel? My name. Like, subscribe, hit that bell. Weekly content, vlogs <laughs> every week. from my night out and low-key i wish i came home after the movie because the night was low-key a flop nothing really happened but at least i look cute all right i'm about to watch a movie and go to bed i'm so tired bye